Beloved Saints, I am out the door. I have to go out of town for 24 hours to see a specialist. I'm fine. It just has to do with my disability. There's nothing new wrong with me. I'm doing fantastic. Uh, I was able to even walk around and go swimming and stuff with the family. So uh, I'm doing very well physically. But uh, I will be back. I wanted to give you this. This is what I used to say to myself. Whenever I would get shaken, you know, or get condemned, because the Bible tells us, I think it's John that says, if our heart condemn us, God is greater than our heart. So if you have feelings where you're feeling condemned, God's greater than that. It doesn't mean it's true. Your feelings aren't facts. Okay. The fact is the truth is Christ. Jesus is the truth. He's the way and he is the life and he is the source of life for all of us. So when we put our trust in him, his work on Calvary, he's fulfilled all righteousness for us. God's wrath was quenched and we've been reconciled to God. The Bible says we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. So imagine going before God, standing before God. And there's an old hymn that says, uh, without one plea, except thy blood was shed for me. I believe it's just as I am. So you come to Christ just as you are. You don't have to change. You don't have to get yourself better. You don't get well before you go to the doctor. It's like saying, you know, for you to clean up your life and, and try to get right uh, before you can even come to God. First of all, it can't be done. All our righteousnesses are as filthy rags before God. We need God's perfect righteousness. And he imputes that on us by faith. Oh, I got my little, when uh, Christine came, I don't know if you can see in my little crosses. Can you see them on my nails? I look like a little raccoon. Squirrel. Um, so I always told myself, if I stood before God, what would be my plea? Would it be, but Lord, Lord, I, I did this in your name. I preached in your I told people about you, Jesus. Uh, I did many wonderful works. I helped this person. I did this. I gave that. I would never, never argue that to justify myself. The only plea I would have, and it's the only plea you have, your blood was shed for me. That's the only reason I should enter life. You know, the rich young ruler asked, so, you know, how can I enter life, eternal life? So you say, you know the commandments. Oh, all these I've kept since my youth up. What lack I yet? Well, if you want to be perfect, sell everything, come follow me. <gasps> Now, did Jesus really mean if he sold everything and followed him that he'd get into heaven? No. He's showing him, you don't keep all the commandments. You don't keep the first one to put something. You put your money before God. That's the first commandment, to love God with all your heart, mind, soul. None of us do that perfectly. And that's why Jesus had to die. So the only plea we have is, thy blood was shed for me. And it's enough. Isaiah says that God has laid on him the iniquity of us all, the whole world. Now, if he can bear the sins of the whole world because he's that holy, how holy is your lamb? How spotless is your lamb? And ours is spotless without sin, the sinless lamb of God without spot or blemish. That is what God looks at to justify us. You see, not us. When the high priest used to uh, accept the animal for sacrifice, the sinner brought the animal, right? The innocent animal was without spot or blemish. They'd have to, they'd have to check him. And they did the same thing to Jesus for days before his crucifixion. They, they investigated and checked him for spot or blemish. And he said, which one of you can convict me of sin? None. None of them could. So, uh, it's Jesus. That's the only reason any of us are saved. So if you can imagine standing before God, why should I let you in heaven? Jesus' blood was shed for me. Can you imagine in your mind him saying, well, that wasn't enough? No, I can't. Keep that in your heart. To walk around with a heart and full assurance of faith. Because you have been reconciled to God. You are a new creature when you put your trust in Christ and what he's done for you on Calvary. Okay, guys. God bless you.